Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome, my name is Logical Edits, and today I'll be bringing you a new tutorial on how to script yourself a free perk easter egg. This is the first part of a set of tutorials that will show you how to script little things that you can add into your map, such as easter eggs or features. The first thing that we should do is open up our map folder. We're going to go to scripts, zm, and into our map name.gsc. We're going to go down to our function main, and we're going to want to level thread a brand new function. So let's go ahead and create that. So here I just commented out free perk Easter egg so I can keep everything neat and organized. And we're gonna start off by threading a function off the level. So level thread and then the name of our function, which we'll be creating. So let's name this free perk Easter egg. Make sure you close it. Let's copy the name and let's go down to the bottom of our GSC and create this function. The first thing I want to do is call a trigger that the player will activate and we're gonna have multiple of these. So we're gonna create an array of these triggers. So let's go ahead and create trigs equals get ent array. We're gonna give the target name of free perk triggs and to solidify it, it's target name. So we are grabbing the target name of everything in this array that is the target name of free perk triggs. Let's go ahead and create a for each loop so for each trig in trigs. So we're gonna be threading a function on every single trig in this array. Let's open this up. And we're gonna do trig thread activate trigger. Like so. Let's go ahead, copy this name, and let's make this the new function. Like so. Since we are threading this function on the trigger, we can instead of doing trig, we can do self since self in this case is the trigger. So we'll do self set hint string and we're going to type in hold activate to activate. This activate right here is auto mapped to any input that the player is using. So keyboard or controller will say X or, you know, F. Let's go ahead and do self set cursor hint which is the hand icon we don't want that there so we're gonna do hint no icon next we're gonna do self use trigger require a look at this is ensuring that the player has to be looking at the trigger for it to be activated next let's do self trigger enable in parentheses false because we are gonna to want to wait until the power is turned on before we can activate this trigger so we're going to do a level wait till and in quotation marks power underscore on. So we're going to wait till the power is on and then self trigger enable true. So now the trigger is now enabled and it could be used. Next, let's do a self wait till now and we're going to do in quotation marks trigger player. So it's now waiting for a player to activate it by triggering it. And this is where we can do some cool stuff. So if you want to play some effects on it, you could do play FX, you know, your FX name, um, self.origin. So it's grabbing the uh, position, which is the origin of the trigger. We can also do self play sound. If you have a sound, you can edit in here. And then since we're done with this trigger, we can do self delete. And now we want to do uh, a little level variable. We don't have one set up, so let's do that. Let's go back to our free perk Easter egg function and let's make the level variable level dot perk triggs activated. Let's equal that to zero. So now this level variable is equal to zero right off the beginning of the game. Let's copy that whole line, paste it at the bottom. Let's replace the equal zero to plus plus so now this is going to increase in one so once we do this one time it will go up it will say level dot perks trigger activated equals one let's create an if statement now if this level dot perks trigger activated equals equals because that means in scripting language this is equal to equal to the number of triggers you have you can set up as many as you want, but make sure you change this number. So for now, we're just going to make it three. So now it's going to wait. If, you know, 
uh, our level dot perks trig activated is not equal to three, it's going to do nothing. But once it equals three, we're going to want to thread another function to give each player a perk. And actually, instead of doing it in another function, we can cut this all down into one function. So we're going to open up brackets and we're going to paste in some code. We're going to do a for each loop for each player in get players. Make sure you add the parentheses there. So it's now saying for each player and this is going to grab every single player in the game. Let's open this up and we're going to want a line of code. We're going to want to thread the player and we're going to want to call the give random perk function from the zm underscore perk script so again we are threading on the player from the script zm perks give random perk now this won't work as is because zm perks we're not calling it anywhere so in order to do that we're going to want to go back to the top of our script with all of our hashtag usings and we're going to want to enter in this script using which is using scripts slash zm slash underscore zm underscore perks and you can copy in just like that of course all of this code will be in a notepad file that you can download in the description below this is it for scripting side now let's jump into radiant and let's set this up so here we are in radiant and really quickly i just placed down three pedestals and we're going to want to create some triggers now in order to do that we're going to press b on our keyboard to bring up the entity browser or you can just right click up here and go down to entity browser. We're going to search in for trigger and we're going to want trigger use touch, not use use touch. Why use touches in my opinion are a lot better than regular uses as regular use triggers can be a little weird at times and not work properly. If it's too big, a use touch trigger, no matter what the size, as long as something is touching this trigger, it will work. Let's go ahead and press N on our keyboard to bring up the entity info. Of course, you can also go to the top entity info, just like that. We're going to go to the target name and we're going to paste in the target name that we gave it in the script, which we have right here. Three perk tricks. We're going to copy that, put into here. And since we did it three times, we're going to want to make three triggers. And that is it. Let's build link and compile and I'll meet you in game. So here we are in our map. And if we come over here, our triggers won't show up because the power is off. Let's go ahead, turn power on. Hold F to activate. Hold F to activate. Hold F to activate. Look at that, we got a free perk. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If this helped, please leave a like. If you're new here, hit the sub button and hit the bell button to be notified of all future videos and streams. Please go into the description of this video Go into my link tree and follow me on all my social medias and join the Discord group if you haven't already. That's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.